Hello and welcome to the CDP Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to cover how to use a connector. We are going to create a small controller for a heater. We will use this to regulate the temperature of a water tank. In order to do this I have created a simple CDP component that simulates a water tank and a heater. The simulator outputs the current water temperature and the current heater level. The component turns on and off its heater via messages. Keep in mind that the simulator is simple and not an accurate representation of a physical system. We are going to write a component to automatically control the heater to hold a set temperature. To do this we need to be able to send messages to the simulator component. We can do this via connectors. First we are going to set up our heat controller component. It is going to run 5 times per second. We are going to need an input for the current water temperature. We will also need a parameter for our set temperature. We will put the default temp at 25. We are also going to add a connector. We will name it heater. We will create our control code in the process null function. First we want to make sure that our connector is connected to the component. We use the connectors connected function to do this. If the connector is connected then we want to regulate the temperature. We will just compare the current temperature against the set temperature and turn the heater on if the temperature goes below the reference point. To turn on the heater we use the connectors send message function. We will input the message that turns the heater up. You can see all the messages and their names in the configure mode under the components message section. Here we can see the message for turning the heater off. We will use this message when the water has reached its set temperature. Now we are ready to configure our heat controller component. We will add it to our system. We then need to route the signal and connect the connector. We type in the route to our water tank object under the object setting. We are now ready to run and test our controller. With the controller running we can see that it is able to hold the temperature reasonably well. We can also change the set temperature and see how it is able to hold higher temps as well. This was all for this tutorial, I will see you in the next video.